Hey guys, uh, we're here live in Union Square, New York City, where someone has erected a very strange statue of Donald Trump in the nude. It's been here for a couple hours. Uh, the title's there on the bottom if you want to take a look. No one seems to have taken it down yet. There's no police presence or anything. Uh, we got our first report of this being here at around 8.30, so it's been here for a while. Uh, I can see our, our camerawoman Chaco is getting a nice shot there at first. A crowd's gathered around to check it out. Um, a lot of people have gathered here. Actually, a pretty small crowd, considering, like, if you've never been to New York, Union Square is obviously, like, it's a big thing. It's a huge public area where there's lots of subway stations. There's a subway station that has, I think, eight trains that go to it. But a, not that big of a crowd has gathered. Um, we're going to look around and see if we can figure out who the artist is. I think it's this dude over here sitting with a notebook just kind of hanging out. But I'm not confident enough to ask him if that's him. Um, so the statue is obviously Trump in the nude with a genitalia that is presumably to scale. We don't know for sure. Uh, Donald Trump has made claims to the contrary, but he lies about a lot. So maybe he was being sarcastic like he was being when he said that President Obama was the founder of ISIS. Uh, you can, I really like the vein detail on it. The vein detail, I think, adds a lot. It's very detailed. Um, I'm not sure what it's made out of. I'm thinking it's like a, a rubbery polymer. Uh, on his hand, you can see he has a ring. That is the, that's the Freemasons logo. The Freemasons are a kind of just a club for old men to hang out in, but they've got a lot surrounding them with regards to the idea that they are a secret society like the Illuminati or something that secretly runs everything. If you've seen that Simpsons episode about the stonecutters, they're based on the Freemasons. I am not sure if Trump is actually a member of the Freemasons, but that ring is showing their logo. Uh, and that's just an interesting bit of, bit of symbolism. Uh, so Donald Trump has a lot been criticized for how he is kind of... He's, a, he's not a very confident man, no matter how he speaks. One of his ex-wives was quoted as saying that before they made love, he would never take off his clothes in front of her. He would make her go in the bathroom, take off all his clothes, get under the sheets, and then she would come to bed. Uh, that's an uncorroborated report that I believe it was Marla Maples, his second wife, said about him. So this statue may be more realistic than you think, uh, except I'm not sure if that's his natural hair color. And if that's not his natural hair color, that wouldn't be the correct color down there either, unless he dyes everything. Uh, and also, the, there's the old myth that a man who has small hands, something else might be small. Donald Trump's refuted that, but this statue seems to justify that claim. I'm keeping an eye out for who might be the artist here. Uh, this guy just took a picture of us. Let's see. No, I don't think that's him. Um, no one here seems to be responsible for this. Like, if, this, if I made this, I'd be wanting to like, stand around being like, oh, cool, now this is covering my, my art. But uh, no one seems to be like responsible for this or watching over it. It's just here. Uh, I'm scared to touch it because I'm worried it's slimy. But I, so we don't know how heavy it is. But someone got it here. There's no sign of any hand truck or anything. There's a dude over there who works for, like, clearly works for making sure this park is beautiful and he's leaving it because it's art. It's art. It's okay, guys. It's freedom of expression. First Amendment, which Trump doesn't support, but whatever. Um, but again, a large crowd has, uh, has gathered. People are taking pictures of it, putting their arms around him and stuff. Um, should we see if he has anything to say? Let, let's, let's see here. 